Seventh and eighth grade. How you guys doing? It's Harry Pettigo here. We're at my desk with a copy of the Iliad, the Daffodils, Pretzel, who's hiding in there somewhere. Pretzel, we can get him out. Okay. Anyway, I wanted to talk with you guys today about comma usage, okay? And I know that right now it's it's a tough time. We could all be overwhelmed. But this is practical. I wanted to think of three practical ways we get better at our comma usage. So I selected three that I want you really to lock into your minds, okay? So the first what we're gonna look the first usage of commas that we're gonna look at is independent um, clauses. Commas used in independent clauses. Okay. I'm gonna give you an example of what that would look like and then we'll explain. Okay. So here would be like an independent um Commas used within an independent clause. Independent clause is plural. Okay, so let's say like um, I was feeling tired, so I decided to go to bed. So let's take a look at this. You can see where I used the comma. Sorry for my handwriting. I was feeling tired. So I decided to go to bed. This clause right here, I was feeling tired, could stand by itself, right? You could just say, I was feeling tired, period. It would become a boring sentence, but still could stand by itself. I decided to go to bed. That could also stand alone. These two clauses, these two phrases, you could say, are not dependent on each other. You could say, I was feeling tired, and it would make sense. You don't need to have, I decided to go to bed. You could say, I decided to go to bed and not have, I was feeling tired. It would still stand. It's independent. There are two independent clauses. And we separate those because we want to make a complex sentence that's not boring. And so we can separate those independent clauses with a comma. Okay? There you go. Very nice. Um, what about this? Let's take a look at a introductory word or phrase. A classic one would be like, um, like, therefore. Therefore, I had to set <laughs> my car on fire. <laughs> my car on fire, dude. Therefore, comma, I had to set my car on fire. Not getting a good focus here. Sorry, guys. Um, that's a good example of like, that's an introductory word, right? It helps us. We want to focus on flow and writing. And we have therefore. That's helping us transition from the thought of the previous sentence. Maybe you said, um, because I, um, because mice had, infest, uh, mice had infested my car and it was getting out of hand, period. Therefore, I had to set my car on fire. <laughs> kind of a kooky example. But that's the example of an introductory word. And we're going to separate that introductory word with a comma, right? Because I had to set my car on fire, again, could stand on itself, stand on its own, right? Okay, let's look at a, um, uh, let's look at an introductory phrase. After... We um, go to the pool, or after, let's say, after we, after we went, after we went to the pool, um, I discovered um, that I had left my AirPods um, uh, in the locker room, whatever, right? So this is an example of after we went to the pool, I discovered that I had left my AirPods in the locker room. Again, sorry for the handwriting. But you see, after we went to the pool, that's again trying to set up, introduce the rest of the sentence. Therefore, we're kind of introducing the rest of the sentence after we went to the pool, comma, both of these should be separated with a comma, okay? And again, God, looking at my handwriting looks just atrocious. Let's look at some um, parenthetical, the third usage of commas we want to focus on today. So what does it mean, parenthetical? What does it mean? Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, I'll explain. You guys know what parentheses are, right? Like this. Whew. My favorite, parentheses. Um, basically, we're adding something to the sentence that is going to help us better under, understand the sentence, but isn't crucial to the meaning of the sentence, okay? Let me give you an example. Um, let's say bluegrass, which is a genre of music. Uh, 
a genre, I mean, it's type of, genre of music, comma, is, is my fave. Which you wouldn't say fave, but whatever. We're saying it now, fave. Bluegrass, comma, which is a genre of music, in comma, is my favorite. So basically, instead of using parentheses, you're using commas. And this is something very common that we see, because parentheses, who wants them? Use commas. Commas are better. Bluegrass, comma, which is a genre of music, in comma, is my favorite thing in the world. That's an example of basically using commas where you normally or you might be able to use parentheses, but we want to avoid parentheses usage because it makes writing uh, messy looking, much like my writing, messy looking, but you want to you want to work with the, the sentence flow and commas are the way to go with that. So independent clauses, introductory words and phrases, and parenthetical use of commas, all something that we should be focusing on. Okay, if you have any questions about that, I'll be happy to answer them, and I'll also be making some comments on your papers to help you guys better understand what we're talking about. And of course, you could Google some of this stuff, but just keep a lookout for using commas. Rock and roll. You guys are awesome.